Yo, what is going on? It is Matt, and it's a beautiful Friday here in Medellin. You can see the beautiful abundance of plants and flowers and birds and people and all, all that is wonderful. So yesterday I had a tough discussion with a customer that is inside of our membership program and he's been just feeling very down on himself feeling unhappy, unworthy, um, and what he said was, at this point, I'm just so used to letting myself down, right? And I just really felt for him, right? Because I understand that state, and I've been there myself many times, and I will find myself in that place again in the future. And, and I think we all, as part of the human experience, it is completely natural to find ourselves in that place. And there's nothing wrong with you if you find yourself in that place. And at the same time though, I believe everyone has the capability to navigate out of that place. And, and that's what I wanted to put this video together for, right? I just wanna share perhaps a new perspective that might provide some support to anybody that is feeling that way, right? Because I, I understand that we put a lot of pressure on ourselves, especially entrepreneurs, especially creatives, and we're constantly fighting that battle of, you know, who we are today and, and who we want to be and, and our higher self and all that good stuff, right? And that's great. But it's at the same time, we can very easily get in our own way, right? And we can very easily find ourselves saying, oh my God. I just can't take this anymore. I am just so unworthy. I'm just so tired of letting myself down, letting my family down, letting my wife down, my boyfriend, my girlfriend, whoever it may be. And I just wanna offer a, a fresh perspective on this, right? So let's say you find yourself in this place, right? Let's take a breath. Okay, let's, let's take a step back and let's, let's try to be as objective as possible about the situation, right? Because objectivity is what is going to help you get out of this place. Emotions and subjectivity is what is keeping you trapped and what is keeping you feeding these negative thought patterns and belief systems and behaviors and self-destruction and all that stuff, right? So let's be objective, okay? So wherever you're finding yourself, and let's say you're unhappy with it, that's a problem, right? That's, you know, you, you, you're, you are here, you wanna get there, and the gap is basically the problem that we wanna solve, right? So, I want to ask the question, I mean, have you ever solved a problem before? Yes, <laughs> absolutely. I mean, you've probably spent your life solving problems. So let me just remind you of when you were an infant, at, at one time in your life, your problem was not shitting your pants constantly, <laughs> right? I think you overcame that problem. If you're, if you're listening to this video, I'm going to give you some props for overcoming that <laughs> problem and developing, right? And then you know, let's fast forward a, a year or two, a few years, and let's say you're, you're in school and it's impossible for you to, to, gri to grip the pencil and, and to write your name in the way that you wish to write it, right? I'm sure at one point in your life, that was a source of tremendous suffering and anxiety and unhappiness, right? Because, you know, you see your, your friends and your classmates, they're all writing their name perfectly and you just can't figure that S out or that T or that G or that J or whatever it is, <laughs> right? So at one point in your life, the biggest problem in your life <laughs> was your inability to write your name on a, on a piece of paper. Well, can you write your name on a piece of paper today? I think so. I think you can, I know you can, <laughs> right? Okay, so, so you solved that problem. So that's just another problem that you solved, right? Okay. And then, you know, let's, let's fast forward a few years and I don't know, you're at the age where you might just pee in your bed every night or every other night, right? 
and and that was a problem at that point in your life, right? All right, well, are you still peeing the bed? I don't think so, right? So (laughs) what I wanna highlight here and what I wanna provide as a perspective is you've been solving problems your whole life, right? And I'm sure that you've solved problems much, much bigger than the problems that I've just gone through and and taken you through, right? I'm sure at one point in your life, the biggest problem in your life was how the hell am I going to get this assignment done in time? Or how am I going to study enough for this exam? How am I going to graduate? Oh my gosh. How am I going to enter the real world, right? How am I going to get into college? (laughs) Well, did you solve those problems? I think you did. Most of you did, right? So my point is, you've been solving problems your whole life. What makes you think that this problem that you are facing right now is not just another problem that you are going to naturally solve? I don't know. You tell me, right? But what happens is we forget the past. We forget that, oh my gosh, at one point in your life, (laughs) you were so hung up and and you were in so much pain because you couldn't write your piece, you couldn't write your name on a piece of paper correctly. Seriously, that was, I'm sure that was one of the biggest problems in your life (laughs) at a certain point right? And so what you need to realize is you're a natural at this, right? Whatever problems you face, you will solve. You will figure it out, right? And the worst thing that you can do when you are facing these challenges is to judge yourself, Like, nobody, when you're a child and, you know, you are at the age where you can't really put the food in your mouth and you're just putting the food all over your face and everything, you're not sitting there saying, oh my God, I am such a piece of shit, you know, I am just the worst three-year-old that I could ever (laughs) imagine. Nobody wants to be be like me. I'm, I'm just, I am an abominable form of creation. You don't do that, right? So why are you doing it now? Why are you judging yourself now? Why are you making it harder for yourself to be happy and to be feeling at peace? Right? And, and happiness, that's a whole other thing. Like, I don't even really believe in happiness. It's just something that, you know, most people can relate to. But when you're dealing with these challenges, why judge yourself? Why not let go? Why not smile through the challenge? Right? Because suffering and pain are two different things. Right? There's pain, right? There's the pain that you got when you stuck your finger in the socket when you were a little kid and you got shocked and you never did that again. And then when you put your hand on the stove, you got a nice little blister. And and for me, I put my hand on a light bulb. I got a blister literally (laughs) like three inches in diameter. I never put my hand on a light bulb again. (laughs) Even today, I still am hesitant to put my hand on a light bulb. So that's pain, right? But then there's suffering. Right? The suffering is caused by you saying, Oh God, I am a disaster. I am not worthy. Look at me. Look at me. And then you look at, you know, social media, you look at other people, you compare yourself to them, and you see the gap, the perceived gap, which I guarantee you is not a real gap. I guarantee you that every single person in this world has the same pains and struggles that you do. You just don't know about it because they don't want to talk about it. 
because they're also in pain, right? But you see, when we compare ourselves to imaginary illusions and reality, and then we also continue the cycle of negative self-talk and judgment and all these things, how the hell are you going to feel anything but unhappiness and depression and anxiety and unworthiness, right? And, and again, I just talked you through a bunch of challenges that you've solved. And I'm sure you've solved them in pretty awesome ways. I'm sure looking back, you can find some sort of positive gain and, and valuable lesson that you learned. And, and so when you're feeling the pain today, that pain is just an indicator of what needs to change, right? But if you're in pain because you keep telling yourself how unworthy you are and how, how much of a failure and a fuck up you are and how, you know, you're ashamed to even talk and, and show up in the world, How can you feel anything but unhappy and, and unworthy and, and just feel those things, right? So when you're feeling in, in, in these places, you, you just got to be objective, right? You got to take a step back and, I mean, look, if you can't do it, which it's hard, right? You need to have people holding you accountable. You need to have other people lifting you up sometimes. I get that. If you can't do it yourself, you got to find people that will love you for the imperfect person that you are. Because there is no such thing as perfection. I mean, the human experience is, is one of pain and suffering, right? And, and, and we're, we need those things to learn and to grow and to evolve and expand and, and help one another through the same struggle, right? So look, whatever you're facing, maybe it's a little bit of debt. Maybe it's a lot of debt. Maybe it's a breakup. Maybe it's some mistakes you made or, or whatever. Whatever it is, you've been solving problems your whole life and you're gonna keep solving problems. I guarantee you that. And I guarantee you that if you continue to judge yourself and tell yourself how unworthy you are, you're going to feel like shit and you're going to continue to feel like shit, right? And so my challenge is to just do it, do something differently. So that's it, right? Just do something a little bit differently instead of judging yourself and reinforcing these negative beliefs and thought patterns. Go outside of that and say, look, man, look at you. You're out here trying to improve, trying to grow, trying to help people, trying to serve, trying to be better for your family, for your wife, for your kids, for your husband, for your girlfriend, for your cousins, for your classmates, for your students. Look at you. You got this, right? You are worthy of everything, right? You have been solving problems your whole life. You are an inspiration, right? And if you're unable to, to find the love within yourself to say that, then I, I need you to find somebody in your circle that can do that for you, right? Because if, if you can't provide that love to yourself, which ultimately is what it all comes down to, then don't be ashamed to ask for help. There's no shame in that. We're all on this journey together, right? And look, if, if you need some love, comment below, right? Jump into the, to our Facebook community. I'll give you some love. I'll make sure we, we find some people that will love you and support you because the reality is you're amazing, right? And, and, your judgments are an illusion that your mind is constructing, okay? So I hope this message resonated. Uh, I hope it provided you with some clarity, with some, with some love, really.
because just don't judge yourself. There's no need for that. You're, 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 you're perfectly imperfect and that's how you're going to be until the day you die. And let's make sure that when that day comes, you got a big ass smile like this. Yeah. Yeah. A big ass smile. All right. So let me know what your thoughts are. If, if you're dealing with anything, drop a comment. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, hit a like. And if you want more, you know, videos like this, um, subscribe. And uh, I really hope to uh, support you however I can. So um, that's all I got for today. And uh, again, thank you so much for listening. And remember, love yourself. Re 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 ugh. Remove the judgment. You're perfectly imperfect. There's no reason to judge yourself. You are more than enough. You are worthy. And I love you. All right? Peace.